Jonathan? Who is this? Oh, it's Bucky Bright, sir. He was a major TV star in the 40s, 50s, and the fall of 1972, and he's your Republican celebrity for the McCain dinner. Uh, good to see you. Uh, uh, what happened to Bruce Willis? Uh, he insists on singing. Jim Belushi? He insists on singing. Good God, when did the party become so boring? The Democrats have all the good celebrities. Mr. Donaghy, this is delivered to Son of a married couple, Bucky Bright! You know who this is? Who doesn't? Uh, most people. But let me ask you a question, Kenneth. If Mr. Bright here told you to vote Republican, would you do it? Oh, uh, no, sir. I don't vote Republican or Democrat. Choosing is a sin, so I was just write in the Lord's name. Uh, that's Republican. We count those. See? My friend, have you ever considered becoming the celebrity face of the Republican Party? What? Hell no! Black people support Republicans. Does hot support coal? Does rain support the earth? Now that misperception is precisely why the GOP needs better celebrities and a black celebrity such as yourself would really make us look good. Mm. And, and, do you like lower taxes? If I paid taxes, I sure would. How about gun ownership? Go on. States' rights? I love states' rights! And let none of us forget that the GOP is the party of Lincoln. Lincoln was a Republican? Actually, today's Republican Party will be unrecognizable to Lincoln. He fought a war to preserve federal authority over the states. That's not exactly small government. Dot com, this need you have to be the smartest guy in the room is off-putting. I guess that's why I'm still single. Damn, the Republican Party sounds pretty attuned to my unique way of life. But I be turning my back on my people to support it. You put me in a quandary, Jack Donaghy. Laundry. What is this place? It's purgatory, Tracy. Richard Nixon? Oh, you can't believe I'm dead. There was still so much left on my bucket list. So many different kind of buckets I wanted to own. Buckets. It's never too late, Tracy. You can't die now. Your party needs you. We've lost some prestige because of the Bush administration. And what again? Up, 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 up. I'm trying to keep that on the DL around here. Look, I know you're worried about this, but there's a long history of black entertainers supporting the GOP. Just ask my old friend Sammy Davis Jr. Oh, Sam, Sammy. Tracy, babe. You gotta help the party get back to its groovy roots. Wow, you were a Republican? He sure was. Black, Jewish, one eye, a white wife. It was a big tent back then, Tracy. Help us to make it a big tent once again. I got a mission! Jackie D, Nixon's ghost convinced my ghost to help the GOP. God bless that wiretapping bastard. This is great. We've got to shoot a couple of commercials right away. The McCain dinner is Saturday. Sounds good, but I can't talk now. I've got to get my wallet out of the toaster. Okay. My fellow black Americans. Hey, Jack. Can I just say black Americans? There's no such thing as black Americans. That's great. That's why you're here. My fellow black Americans. Dr. King once had a dream, a dream that we all share, to build a 200-foot high wall to keep Mexico out. And he also hated the estate tax. <sighs> Unbelievable. Jack, I don't know about this. What's wrong? I get it. The Republican Party means less taxes, more guns, and the end of the gun tax. Go on. But everybody mm. isn't forward-thinking like I am. No matter what, black Americans are going to always vote Democrat. They will, won't they? Mm-hmm. Unless... Black people, don't vote! Just don't do it! No matter the time it takes for you to vote, you can play three games of pool. Three! Now that's fresh. I'm Tracy Jordan, and I improved this message. Paid for by the committee to reinvade Vietnam. <laughs>